Hey there, Jen Dies here for Status Coup with a story that should be unbelievable, yet here we are. It's been a month since George Floyd was murdered at the hands of police, and throughout this month there have been protests in cities, in small towns. Black Lives Matter has an unprecedented level of support, and there are calls to make real changes, like defunding the police. Yet, as I said before, here we are. Yesterday, a Kansas State University student made an absolutely disgusting tweet. Here's what that tweet says. It is highly disturbing. This student named Jaden McNeil said congratulations to George Floyd on being drug free for an entire month. As I said, this is just stomach turning. This is disgusting. People are obviously incredibly upset about this, um, this tweet, what this person considers to be a joke, what the alt-right has been saying is just a joke. And the very idea that someone could, could type something like this, could have these feelings, the fact that there are people out there like this, these white supremacists, is just, it's something that people need to know and people need to understand, is a reality. So it's easy to get caught up in, in maybe a bubble and thinking, okay, people are all on board with Black Lives Matter right now. People understand that black people are being murdered by police. People are waking up and, and really understanding the racism that is out there. Well, that's not the reality for everyone. And many conservatives, many on the right, especially on the alt-right, are absolutely disgusting, vile human beings. I have to mention that um, Kansas State University came out with this response, a message from President Richard Myers. The insensitive comments posted by one K-State student hurts our entire community. These divisive statements do not represent for the values of our university. We condemn racism and bigotry in all its forms. We are launching an immediate review of the university's options. Black Lives Matter at Kansas State University, and we will continue to fight for social justice. So next I'm gonna kind of get into the alt-right response to Jaden's disgusting tweet. And I'm going to go into kind of an update on the alt-right that many people are not aware of. There are different factions within the alt-right, which Jaden is part of. So people are familiar with the alt-right and its, its tendency um, or, or the reality of the fact that it's full of white supremacy. Well, there's a, a faction called Groypers, the Groyper Army. So let's get into what that is. And again, Jaden is part of this Groyper Army. Groypers are a loose network. And this is um, the um, ADL who is reporting this. Groypers are a loose network of alt-right figures who are vocal supporters of white supremacist and America First podcaster Nick Fuentes. So Nick Fuentes is, is, their, is their leader. Patrick Casey, who leads the white supremacist American identity movement, is also a lead Groyper. Groypers regularly confront mainstream conservative organizations like Turning Point USA for failing to promote a truly America First agenda and for not being adequately pro-white. So these people, these Groypers, are often even worse than regular alt-right people, if you can even imagine. These people, these Groypers, think that, that the many in the alt-right and the alt-light don't go far enough. Many Groypers hold racist and anti-Semitic views. Fuentes, again the leader, is careful to position the Groypers not as white supremacists, but rather as Christian conservatives who oppose, among other things, immigration, undocumented and legal, globalism, gay and transgender rights, and feminism. Groypers charge that mainstream conservative organizations like TPUSA want to silence dissidents like Fuentes, who has been expelled from TPUSA events because of his extreme views. 
So these are people who've showed up to um, Donald Trump Jr. events, for example, and, and booed him. Um, they're anti-Charlie Kirk. Like, these people go one step further. Well, Jaden, the student who tweeted that um, tweet about George Floyd, is one of these Groypers. So Nick Fuentes, the leader of the Groypers, is tweeting about Jaden's tweet. Nick said, is this a threat? Everybody threatening Jaden McNeil now has the full attention of the Groypers. Keep that in mind. LOL at people who think this is a joke. I'm going to have the last laugh. So now these Groypers are threatening those who are reacting to this disgusting tweet. Michelle Malkin, who is, has long been a part of, of the right um, and now has gone even further. She's kind of, she's been fired from a lot of mainstream uh, conservative things because she's going way too far with her views um, in immigration. And even though she's not white, she's a white supremacist. And so now she calls herself the mommy of the Groypers. So she's weighing in on this too. She says, if Dave Chappelle tweeted this, no one would blink. Instead, at K-State officials, football players, and virtue signaling babies are in an uproar. And at McNeil, Jaden is getting death threats and expulsion threats across social media over a joke. What a weak, pathetic country we live in. So there you have some groipers, and there are many other groipers who are, are weighing in on this and who are supporting Jaden McNeil and his disgusting tweet. Jaden is part of the Groypers. He is part of the extreme alt-right. So this is a report out of IREHR, and they are actually reporting on um, a special report that they did called From Alt-Right to Groyper, White Nationalist Rebrand for 2020 and Beyond. And so Jaden McNeil apparently took issue with their report, which wasn't focused on him. It was really focused on Nick Fuentes and Patrick Casey, but Jaden McNeil was, was mentioned. So McNeil, however, focused his criticism on one of the few times he was mentioned, again, in this special report. The report noted, though McNeil lacks the same lengthy paper trail of explicit white nationalism as that of Fuentes or Casey, he has already signaled his affinity with such ideas. At IREHR, we believe accuracy is essential. After McNeil's complaints, IREHR did further investigating to determine if his criticisms were warranted. What the IREHR research team found in our investigation was far more disturbing than our original reporting. So to make this super clear, they came out with this report about um, the evolution of alt-right to this faction of Groypers, and Jaden was mentioned. This came out before this tweet. This was back in February that what I'm reading from right now came out. So this is just to give you the history of Jaden and who he is as a person and who these Groypers really are and why we need to be aware of them. Jaden McNeil has been involved with not two, but four different participants in the murderous white nationalist rally in Charlottesville, Virginia. White nationalists provided even more guidance to McNeil in the formation of America First students at Kansas State University than IREHR originally reported. McNeil was warned by conservative peers about aligning with a Nazi like Nick Fuentes, but chose to ignore the warnings. McNeil's attendance at the Groyper Leadership Summit in December 2019, an event organized by white nationalists Nick Fuentes and Patrick Casey, has been further confirmed. McNeil is also scheduled to attend the white nationalist organized America First Political Action Conference on February 28th. Again, that's in the past. McNeil has amplified white nationalists on social media, repeatedly sharing white nationalist content to his followers. McNeil interned with a politically incorrect podcast that was promoted by the founder of the Proud Boys. He also posted photos of himself flashing the OK hand signal at a political rally, a sign popularized by the Proud Boys, and designated a racist symbol by the Anti-Defamation League. McNeil made crude homophobic comments, calling the LGBTQ plus community degenerates and using an anti-LGBTQ plus slur during an interview. 
he has also expressed hostility towards diversity and immigrants. So that is who Jaden McNeil is. He has latched on to these groipers who, um, it's hard to say that anything is worse than the alt-right, but these are people who, who think that the alt-right don't go far enough. That's who Jaden is. That is who this person who made this disgusting tweet, congratulations to George Floyd on being drug free for an entire month. That's who Jaden is. And that's who a lot of conservatives and people on the right, in the alt-right, and groipers are heavily supporting on social media right now. And I think everybody needs to be aware of this. We can't get caught up in the um, happiness that so many people are now trying to be anti-racist and that so many white people are waking up and supporting Black Lives Matter and having their minds changed because we still have this real sickness in society. So please be aware of the alt-right, be aware of these groipers, which I think a lot of people haven't heard of. They're a very recent faction and I will be reporting on them more and keeping an eye on them more for sure. So I think it's important also for me to point out that a lot of um, Kansas State students are obviously really, really upset by Jaden's tweet and people on the uh, members of the Kansas State University football team are refusing to play, for example, and there's just a lot of um, a lot of support for Black Lives Matter and a lot of real anger towards Jaden McNeil and demands that Kansas State do the right thing. So this tweet is by Walter Neal Jr., um, who is a Kansas State student. He says, yes, I am a football player, but I'm a black man first. At K-State, get this handled now. Shit is ridiculous. Another one, um, at T. Denson, says, I refuse to play for a program that tolerates ignorance such as this at K-State. Kansas State's, this is um, the Mercury uh, a outlet out of, out of Kansas. Kansas State's Gene Taylor, Chris, Chris Kleiman, throw support behind black student athletes after controversial tweet. So this just goes through some of the, uh, like the uh, Gene Taylor, the Kansas State Athletics Director and head football coach Chris Kleiman released statements Friday morning in the wake of a controversial tweet from Jaden that led two football players to threaten to quit the team. So Taylor says, recent tweets from a K-State student downplaying the Black Lives Matter effort and the tragic and senseless death of George Floyd are disgusting and totally inappropriate and not reflective of who we are as a university or our athletics department. They are not reflective of our administration and goals. We are committed to listening and supporting our black athletes, black students and members of our black community and taking positive steps in the matters of social injustice and racism. Kleiman also reiterated that he will defend anyone affiliated with K-State football. Our program and our coaches will continue to be part of the solution when it comes to racial injustice, Kleiman wrote on Twitter. I love our players and they know that I have their backs. So then it goes through some more of the tweets and the outrage from Kansas State students. Again, please be aware of these people, people like Jaden McNeil, people like the Groypers, those on the alt-right. This is a part of what people are fighting against right now and it needs to be reported on, it needs to be understood, and it needs to be you know there needs to be there need to be consequences for Jaden McNeil he should not no longer be a Kansas State student it has to be made uncomfortable for these people to exist so again I will keep my eye on things and keep reporting on on um, the groupers and the alt-right and the continued fight and um, just outpouring of support for Black Lives Matter and the injustices that black people face in this country. Bye-bye.